You know, we've been here and uh, all of a sudden we got the alarm call. Me and uh, the patrol officer, we're gonna go ahead and uh, respond to the alarm. I understand that we have to respond within 10 minutes when it comes to alarms, but uh, you know, no, we should be following the speed limits. Even if we are a few minutes late, fine. You know, when you're on duty, you always have to make sure that uh, your firearm, everything, they were inspected and they were in working order or condition. You don't need to get into the situations where if you have to pull your firearm or anything like that, you are all stuck. So make sure whatever you carry on your duty belts, they are all in working condition. Uh, you have to make sure that your cell phone signal you are having the cell phone signals in the area you are at so you have to be really careful and aware of your surroundings you have to be really active and alert you have to know what exactly you are doing I mean you don't want to be in the area where you have no signal and you're all stuck and now be careful be careful make sure you are fully alert and prepared, you never know what you're going to get into. You know, responding alarm calls in suburban area is totally different than cities. So you have to be really careful. And uh, your equipment, make sure you got a working flashlight. You got a working flashlight. If you on bulletproof make sure it is on you it is not sitting at home I mean if you got the equipment make sure it is all in working condition because you never know what you get into in a majority of the norms they are vandalism it could be anything and you know when it comes to somebody breaking in I have noticed that any time it could be a domestic it could be anything it could be anything you never know because don't just assume that oh it is just a vandalism or somebody just stealing or trying to do something no it could be anything so you have to be really careful uh, you can get into any situations domestic or anything because you never know if the alarm was on and they got into fight or it could be combination of anything, so that's why it is always be careful once you are responding to the alarms. You know, when you are responding to alarms, you have to be fully aware of the call, if it is a residential or a commercial facility. Because when it comes to residential, you have to be prepared in according to that, and if it is a commercial, your mind have to be prepared in according to that. So you need to know when you are responding to alarms. You are responding to alarms. Make sure your cell phones, they are on vibration. Because once you reach the facility where you are responding, you don't want to have it on you and your expensive cell phone. Oh man, you are just thinking about that. No. And same thing with the jewelry. Make sure you don't have anything expensive on you. Make sure you don't have anything expensive on you. So you have no worries once you are responding to call. While we are going, we have to make sure that the rear windows, they are up. Because once we reach the destination, we don't want that somebody, they just come and uh, pull a gun on your head because your rear window is open. I mean, you have to make sure that the rear window is up. It is not open. 
And uh, yes, driver side windows, front windows, yeah, keep them down because you need to know what is going on. You can hear. And uh, in case anything happens or at least you are aware of your surroundings. Yes, the front window, keep it down, but the rear ones, keep them up because you don't want to get into a situation where somebody pulls a gun from the back window because it was down and now you're all stuck. So, no, you don't need that. You see, we reach the place and you see this suburban area. It is like a jungle. It is very dangerous. It is not easy. Sometimes people think that responding the arms is uh, easy. And uh, the officer, I believe, he took his seatbelt off. So in that way, uh, you know, if he have to get out or run, I mean, but uh, you know, you have to be really careful because once we reach, you never know if they have dogs or anything or a shotgun or a handgun in the suburbans people they do carry the firearms we have to be really careful we have to be really careful you see we are entering like a jungle here uh, so we have to be really careful you never know what you're gonna get into you have to keep your surroundings in mind you have to have an exit plan because in case we are attacked Hey, we're gonna get hold of the local law enforcement, 911, and uh, we just call them for backup. And uh, that's what it is. And, uh, you know, uh, yeah, we also have to keep an eye on what is the surroundings. I mean, we do see uh, vehicles parked, one of the vehicle parked here. And, uh, you know, we have to be really careful. We're gonna just keep an eye on what is going on. We just have to make sure nobody is sitting in there. We have to be really careful and uh, even we are ambushed or attacked you know we have to have an exit plan we don't need to get killed no I mean we have to have an exit plan uh, that's what as you can see it is like a jungle very very dangerous area suburban that's what it is You know, if it is a domestic violence or something, we try not to get involved because, believe me, there are cases where you're gonna probably handcuff a guy and later on, husband and wife or wife and girlfriend, they get together and then you are screwed up in the court because they're together, they're back. So, we don't know what exactly happened, but it was a uh, reference to a uh, window breakage. You know, we're gonna, once we reach there, we're gonna, even while we are going, we're gonna access, and stop and view everything. What is going on? What is the surroundings? And uh, I'm gonna suggest, if you haven't responded to the alarms and you don't have no experience, try to avoid, try to avoid. where it is we almost approaching and we have to have the address handy in case we need to get here is the facility we reached here and I see there is another of our patrol vehicle it seems to be somebody already responded you see there is another backup here but you know lots of time you don't get that lots of time you don't get that I see our vehicle is already there and he's probably already dealing with that and now we have reached and uh, we can also get out and uh, see what is happening and take care of the situation. You know right now the officers they are waiting for the police department to arrive so there are situations sometimes you get the calls and when you respond it is just a situation where it is just because of the heavy winds 
and storm or something like that and that made the alarm go off. But there's certain incidents where things really do happen and uh, then you have to involve the police department and get the police case number and everything. So you do need to know what exactly you are doing and you do, do need to know when to involve the police and you have to be fully aware of the situation and how to respond and how to take care of that. Due to liability issues, I will not get into details of the incident of uh, alarm response of the call, but uh, the officers, they press charges and they also bar people for trespassing and uh, they got a subpoena to appear at court. So, that's what it is all about. You need to know what exactly to do when responding to an alarm call. It is very important. If you don't have the knowledge, stay away and always keep liabilities in mind. Again, the speed limit, you have to keep that in mind. You don't need to get pulled over or anything like that. Or, you know, I understand that cops, they recognize our vehicles. They know that we are there doing a kind of the same job. I mean, majority of them, they are nice, they recognize us. But still, we should stay within the speed limit. And uh, even though the vehicles are fully tracked, office knows where exactly we are. Our dispatchers know where exactly the vehicle is right now. They are tracking the speed, everything. But we just have to be careful. Just get that 10 minutes out of your mind. Don't think that, oh, I have to be there within 10 minutes. No, take your time. Relax. Take it easy. You know, there are situations where sometime you get the call and uh, you don't have to worry about anything because it was just a call because of heavy winds or storm or something like that. But certain situations, there is a real call and you have to make sure that in those situations you have to get the law enforcement involved so in that way the case number and everything is properly filed and uh, even if you have to appear in the court you are all set and ready to go and no worries or anything like that so you have to be fully aware and you have to be active and alert to know what exactly you are getting into and what you are dealing with.